Alright, welcome back to another episode of You Got It. I'm not going to forget the jingle this week. Match, 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 match. And actually, it might be the last episode of this series for a little while at least, because in a couple of days, restaurants reopen again. And I'd rather like to enjoy some, uh, some hot food. <laughs> Although, having said that, the only restaurants that can reopen are the ones with uh, outdoor seating areas. So although the food might be hot, this is England, so the weather probably won't be. Anyway, today I'm at a place called Cafe 53 to pick up their humongous champion's box. Let's get inside. I've, uh, I've come to pick up a, a rather large box of uh, food. I don't. Yes. I don't know you are, big videos. You watched a few? No, I Oh, thanks, yeah. so, thanks very much, mate. I oh, appreciate it. Out. You reckon I can eat you then? I don't eat you. Yo, you know I can eat you. <laughs> I like that. That's, that's confidence. talking about not too many mushrooms <sighs> smells pretty good let's get started all right here we go as you can see it's another giant brekkie box and at cafe 53 they're pretty famous for their uh, breakfast boxes they do a regular breakfast box a large breakfast box a proper breakfast box a hangover cure breakfast box and this the biggest of all the champions breakfast box and this thing was created in honor of the local football team who won the championship last season and aided by El Loco they're doing pretty good this year too yes you're right anyway enough jibber jabber without further ado this is baby soon this is cafe 53's champions box challenge let's get it! all right let us begin some H2O on hand, some non-cloudy H2O. People keep telling me my, my water's cloudy. I think it's more the glasses. They've taken some punishment over the years. All right, let's, let's dump out some of the wet stuff. To be, my gosh. Lube up some of the ingredients. Right, bacon. It's true. Ah, what's up, Ben Ami? Welcome back. I don't know why I just said the word bacon as if it was a, a question. Like, bacon? <laughs> Anyway, I know what you're probably thinking, what's gotten into him? He's eating the bacon before the sausages on a breakfast. Well, don't worry, we'll get to the sausages, but when you've been eating out of boxes for the best part of three months, you got to find new ways to keep things interesting. The bacon's a little inconsistent. Some pieces are really crispy, others aren't as much. I'm enjoying the crispy pieces. Oh yeah, you can really hear that crunch. All right, sausages. All right, here we go, the main event. I'm not sure why I just ate two in one mouthful. I must be feeling ambitious today. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't let your uh, your school teachers fool you. Ambition comes in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> mm. Never tilt your head back when you're eating sausages. Something about it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> grow up, man, grow up. You're too old for this now, too old for it. <laughs> anyway, today we're doing the uh, the champion's box, uh, which is, as you can see, uh, a fried English breakfast. I won't itemize everything on it. There's pretty much eight of everything, apart from the beans and mushrooms, <sighs> the tomatoes, you know, the, the sloppy stuff. The black pudding is pretty good. It's, it's a little thinner than, than usual. But I think that kind of helps with the texture a little bit. It's a little bit crispier, which is interesting. I thought I got all the bacon. There's another slice remaining. Yay, bonus bacon. You know me, I'm not the kind of man who would complain about that. I love bacon in everything, especially milkshakes. All right, just a load of fried bread, toast, and, uh, and eggs remaining now. I think I'll make some egg sandwiches. Oh, the mushrooms too. Can't forget the mushrooms. Although I would like to. <laughs> Complaining about mushrooms again. That's that's about as much a part of the videos now as the Who's gonna? Yeah, the, uh, the mushroom fan club will be coming for me with their pitchforks and their <laughs> flaming torches. Anyway, I actually got the the amount of things on this wrong. It's eight of everything apart from the hash browns and the eggs, of which you you just get six. So the, the, the hash browns and the eggs are a premium 
but everything else there's lots of, especially the toast and the fried bread, which actually they don't mention on the menu. That's like a bonus. Oh, I'm starting to sweat. <sighs> Get some fresh water. Right, 12 minutes. Just a ton of bread, some beans, and tomatoes left now. I can already see the comments now. Why didn't you make some sandwiches? I don't know. There's, there's like a simple pleasure to just eating bread, you know, fried bread or just the toast, dipping it in some uh, some goo. That's a, uh, you know, I, I enjoy doing that. So I left the bread to the end. Beans giving me a little bit of difficulty there. I think you got them, son. I think you got them. <laughs> They're all out. I saved the fried bread to the end because it's kind of like a treat. I love fried bread, so best to eat that last. Well, apart from the mushrooms, I'm not going to complain about them. I do that a lot in videos. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're not my uh, my favorite thing to eat. So I'll, uh, I'll leave those, you know, to the very end. <clears throat> I think that should help psychologically. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Fried bread and bean juice. A simple British pleasure. A lot of the uh, American subscribers always leave comments saying like, What's with beans on breakfast, man? Try fried bread with some baked beans. You'll know why. Welcome to lesson number one in my uh, philosophy of breakfast lecture series. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, who doesn't like beans with fried bread? There's a lot of cultural resistance to beans on breakfast. I don't know why. Anyway, this was a decent breakfast. Um, 22 quid, which I think is pretty much a bargain <clears throat> for, <laughs> for the amount of food you get. Just some yummy mushrooms and beans to go. A lovely footnote to an otherwise fantastic breakfast. I, I really enjoyed the, the black pudding was good, the sausage and bacon. The fried bed was a little mushy for me, a little saturated with oil, but other than that, pretty good. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Big Meat's food, and I think that's everything. <laughs> that was the, uh, the, uh, what leg was it called? The champion's box breakfast I don't feel like much of a champion right now though. <laughs> oh. Oh. 28 minutes that took a long time what's that Fry ups are the worst for. for I, I don't really get heartburn that much, but fried bread will do it too. It'll do it. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you for the next one, which, fingers crossed, should be just anywhere but this room. <laughs> We're almost there. I've got a couple of things planned and uh, I, I keep talking about it, but the studio's almost ready. Almost. <laughs> catch you in the next one. Mate, I dread to think, like, it's such a nice toilet and I've seen what you eat. Like, this poor thing doesn't know what it's letting himself in for. He needs a suction on this thing, see if it's up to the job.